Hello everybody and welcome back to Letton Farm. Now, the company who is supposed to be putting the shed up has been here since about half past six this morning and they, well, there was a cement mixer here not so long ago but they've just poured uh, this concrete or this cement down and, well, obviously they seem to have uh, got quite a bit done already. I believe they're just going to go and get some more materials and yeah, it just takes a morning to put up. So hopefully, by the end of the morning, it is going to be done. Obviously, because they're working in this area, I'm going to have to stop putting the fence up. I was obviously before, in the previous episode, taking this fence down and putting the fence across here. Lucky I didn't continue walking. That's still wet. Um, yes, so uh, we'll leave them to it. Eight and a half thousand pounds is going to cost me. I have already moved the cultivator and the drill out of the way because they were up against where the fence used to be, completely in the way of the cement mixer and this is just looking out of place but very soon it should be able to fit in the new yard area or maybe even in the new shed so I think really all I need to do today is a few odd jobs I've just put this here so when the sheep require some more grass they can have it um, I'm actually planning on making some more grass bells I think it could be quite beneficial uh, but yeah, if I can make some and sell them straight away, even better, because I really could do with making some money fast. Uh, I would like to buy a pickup truck very soon. So, my plan, while they're working in the field just over there, is to just cut some grass in that field, and hopefully load them onto this trailer here, and take them over to someone who wants to buy them. Obviously at the moment, I don't know who, but if it just ends up being that I can't find anybody, I can just keep them for the future. So it doesn't really matter too much. I can only keep them for a few days because they don't really keep, but yes, even so. Okay, so into the uh, new Holland tractor. And I need to hitch up to the mower. We also have the wall just there, which currently has two sacks in it. I think I'm going to keep it there until either the price is very good or until it's full. Whichever comes first. Hopefully the price is very good when it's full, but yeah, it does probably quite unlikely. Okay, well here is the mower. And when I say we're going to make some bales, it's going to be probably in the region of four or five bales. The reason why I don't want too many is because really, if I can't sell them, I can't store them. Even though we're extending the storage area, it still isn't enough space to be able to keep machinery and bales and other stuff too, like wall pallets if I ever have enough. Um, so yeah, I, I really just need to either sell off the field or make a few. Obviously if somebody orders quite a few, that's fine. I can make as many as they need. But currently, I have no customers. That might increase in the future. Hopefully it does do. Anyway, yeah, a few times around here. That should give us enough grass for a few bales, up to five bales. You can see I'm not actually cutting the section that's already been cut. That would just take a lot of extra time baling it and there wouldn't be a great deal of grass in the swath. So I'm just going to have to keep going for the fresh stuff, which is fine. That's exactly what I'm looking to do anyway. Uh, this area is going to regrow and hopefully I can actually get it fertilized. I think when we've cut everything, just here, I will get it fertilized and then we can increase the yield for the future. Okay, well that is done. That is all cut. So what I need to do now is obviously put this away and get the baler. And then I'm going to load everything up onto the trailer. And hopefully the shed will be done soon. It is quite tight. So this is the kind of thing which is going to have to go into the new yard, where there is more space. But for now, it should be okay just here. And there we go. Right, okay. 
So I think we're going to keep the same tractor on the baler. It would make sense. Uh, there's not really much point in taking it off that tractor, just to put it on this tractor, especially as I can use this tractor for moving the bales. So that is another job that I need to get done very quickly. I am just basically trying to make as much money as possible before I have to pay for this new shed. It's all very nice having a new shed, but it is quite expensive. Oh, and I've not really heard anything else about these funny letters and stuff. The police have never responded to me again since I reported the, the fire. They came around, they inspected it, all took photos. That was all good. Not heard anything since, uh, so I suppose I should just scrap it. But as for the notes, I have heard nothing. And luckily there's been no more, so that's good. I don't want any more funny goings on. We just need to get on with the farming. Anyway, yes. Let's try and get four or five bells out of this if we can do. Okay, well that is what I've just cut bailed, and we did get four bales out of it, plus 39% of a baler, so yeah, obviously this one which is in here is going to have to wait until the next time we do some baling, which is fine, but what I would need to do is basically go and try and find somebody who's going to buy my bales, and I think the first person I'm going to ask is Mr. Young, uh, mainly because I know that he doesn't want to buy them just to see what his response is, because he has cows and he might have other animals as well so you'd think that he might need some grass, he doesn't cut his own grass so let me just send a text message, here we go do you need any grass bales? sent to Alex Young right and uh, also the people putting the shed up have just left I, I need to pay the bill, um, they said I can pay electronically by the end of today so that's fine uh, but here it is. This is the shed that they've just put up. They've put it up incredibly fast and it looks good. It looks very good actually. High quality shed. Lots of wood in here. But yes, it has set us back £8,500. At least it will set us back £8,500 once I have paid. Um, but I think, yeah, if we put the fence around the back here, I can use this area here for storage of machinery or whatever. It just like now looks a bit weird because it, they've concreted the area they've put this, but they didn't they didn't do the rest, understandably, because it's quite expensive to do that. Uh, so we're going to have to probably put some gravel down. I think, yeah, in the future we'll put some gravel down just to make it look a bit neater. Anyway, oh, he has replied. Let's see what he said. Yes, please. What? What, so he is farming? That was supposed to be a joke. Okay, well, in that case, I will go and pick up those bales and take them over to his shed. That is really weird. I was expecting him to say no. Or no thanks. Yes, he can be polite too. Um, right, so, okay. Uh, let's go and attach the trailer and I'll take it to the field. And then we can start the loading up process. But it looks like we're not going to be transporting them very far at all. Literally across the road. Which is interesting. Well... I guess um, that's a good thing. But I think later, I'm going to finish off putting the fence up. I have no main agricultural jobs to do today. It is mostly yard work. I don't know if I need to fertilize this field over here again. I might do. Um, possibly. But it is already quite fertile land, so I don't know if it's going to be necessary. Okay, so we just drop the trailer off. We barely even need a trailer for the distance. And with there only being four bales, but yeah, I mean, it's a safer way of doing it instead of just carrying two at a time on the bale spike. But as we are just crossing the road, it really shouldn't matter. Right, so I don't want it to tip over backwards, so I'm going to have to put some weight on the front of it first. But I'm just going to get it done, and then see how much money he wants 
Oh, see how much money I want for it. See how much he's willing to pay for it. Obviously, it's freshly cut. Cut today. So it couldn't be fresher. It actually turns out, despite it being a transport trailer for vehicles, to be quite a good trailer for bales. The, the bales fit in here perfectly, side by side. So not much space for them to move around. Uh, so I think we'll be using it again in the future for more bales. Should be able to just push that one in. There we go. Right, so maybe we can make a hundred pounds or so. It would be very good if we could do. Let's get that hitched on. And they're going to need some kind of strap, <laughs> otherwise they're going to be rolling everywhere. Put one over the back, possibly one in there as well. Uh, that's good. Right, let's get them sold. We'll put them in his shed over here. And then he must be coming to retrieve them to use them somewhere. I probably should just stop thinking that he doesn't do any farming, because he clearly must do. Otherwise, why on earth would he want to buy a load of grass bales? It makes absolutely no sense. Okay, we made a good piece of money there. A very good bit of money. Almost £500 per bale. Right, so let's head back to the farm. We now have a decent shed. I've made quite a bit of money from some bales, which is good. And also, I just need to now just work on the yard area to make it look really good. Uh, I can't, like I said, I can't put loads of money into it, but I can put some money into it. Basically funded by the bales, the very expensive bales, that Mr. Young has just bought from us. Anything happening at the Young's farm? No, it doesn't look to be. Uh, anyway, yeah, that tractor has been there for about a month or two. I think the last person to use it was actually me. Um, uh, anyway, what we're going to do is put this trailer, the one which we've got on the back, in the grass field, sheep field, and then my plan for the rest of the day is just to continue moving the fence, the fence which I paid for about a month ago. Uh, also, yeah, talking about paying, I do need to pay the the bill for the new shed, eight and a half thousand pounds. That is obviously something that is uh, urgent. But then, yeah, really, just I'm going to spend the rest of the day just moving the fence. Whoa, what's that? Oh, here we go. Typical. <laughs> Some pumpkin that someone's dumped. Hang on, I've got I've got the camera. I have got the camera up there filming exactly here. So, pumpkin placing person, let's get to the bottom of who it is. I can just go and check the footage and finally discover who is at the who is at the source of these big problems I've been having on the farm. Oh, this is great. Okay, I'm going to go put this just just here, like I say. That's put me in a good mood. Okay, let's go and uh, review the footage. Finally, we're going to be able to put a face to these pranks. Right, okay, I'm reviewing the footage, and this is just before the pumpkin appears from what I've seen on the playback. What? The gate is opening on its own? What? Okay, it could have been the wind. And then, nothing's happening. About 30 seconds has passed and I had to jump cut. And there it is. It just randomly appears. I don't know. Ah, oh, the gate moved again. Okay, um... So that wasn't really what I was expecting. In fact, I've got a shiver going down my spine. How is it possible for the gate just to open and close, and then for a pumpkin just to appear out of nowhere with nobody here at all? For anybody watching these vlogs, please do post your suggestions down below as to why this is happening and, and how it could happen. How could that, what you've just seen on that CCTV, actually happen? There's me thinking that it was just some person I was going to catch somebody on the camera. It turns out I see nothing and a pumpkin just appear out of thin air. Well, I'm going to continue putting that fence up, but that has uh, filled me with fear. 
Okay, well there we go. It is done. You can see the fence has now been continued from where the gate is to where the building is and it just now creates an enclosure. It just looks much better than it did before and obviously we can still gain access to the grass field through the gate. So, I'm going to leave it there but honestly this is probably the most scared I've ever been at the end of a vlog. So, if anybody can shed some light on who they think or what they think is actually doing this to the farm then uh, that would be great I would really appreciate it anyway see you again next time bye for now